uh, websites I registered with suggested including a voice sample for potential students to hear how you sound, I guess, fall in love with your sexy timber and then hire you, or whatever. I don't know what the logic is, but in any case, I have tried for the past, no joke, 15 minutes to record this stupid uh, voicemail message, which I'll then email to myself and then upload to the website. Here is another try, and yes, it is unbelievably cheesy, um, or as I think the term in Japanese would be, mecha yasupoi. Um, whatever, gigs are gigs, so let's see how this goes. Take 17. Hi there, my name's Danny Katz. Are you looking for an English teacher that's boring? Makes you repeat from textbooks all the time? Well, that's not me. You see, I'm fun and creative. And I promise you, if you study with me, your English will improve greatly. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks. I'm also selling a ShamWow. Thanks. <sighs> yeah, there we go. That's what I should do. I should do English teaching infomercials. Although I think that market's already been covered by someone, I'm sure. Um, this reminds me. I don't know if I've told some of you this story, but uh, when I was here in May, I was watching... I was in Kagoshima. I was traveling all around Japan. And I was in a hotel in Kagoshima, and I was watching television just to sort of decompress between um, crazy touring or whatever. Touring? Vacationing? He's sitting on a bus and looking at pretty things. Uh, so I'm watching an English language program, and it's these three kids, very cute, precocious Japanese kids, that come up with something like, I want to speak English, or I want to improve my English, but they have to come up with that actual phrase in English on their own merits uh, based on what they know of English. So the three of them do. And then the guest artists who critique or perfect their English happen to be boys to men. Um, who knew? So they have boys to men uh, tell them which one has the best sentence structure, and then they break out into, surprise, surprise, Motown Philly. Now I'm thinking, I like boys to men. I saw them perform at the Budokan in Tokyo in 97. They were amazing. Um, but I kind of wondered when they were approached to do this, if they're like, you, you want us to do what? <laughs> but hey, a gig's a gig. Um, so, well, let me listen back to that file and see if it sounds as tacky as I think it does. <laughs> hey!